Hey, let me ask you, do you feel sometimes owned? Do you feel like other people basically own your calendar, your schedule, and even your attention? There's a way to change this, and I'll show you how. Boundaries. Huh? You and me? Boundaries. Let's talk about setting personal boundaries in sales. <laughs> Welcome back to that five minute sales training. Hey, if you watch this every week, hit the like button every week. It's just so simple, just click the like. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button too. We'd sure appreciate that. Let me just tell you, I have a confession to make. I started my sales career in real estate sales and I struggled in my early days because I felt like I was always having to be on. As a realtor, if I was standing in line in the grocery store and someone mentioned homes or real estate or interest rates or Joanna Gaines, my ears would just perk up and I felt like I had to be a part of the conversation. And I used to tell my clients, call me anytime, day or night. You're clearly very desperate. Listen, it's not that I wanted them to, I just felt I was supposed to say that. Now in time, this turned out to be a real problem. I couldn't provide great service because I never had any downtime. And I couldn't take care of my family because I never had any downtime. I never had any me time because I did not have personal boundaries. I think it's time that we set some boundaries. So let me ask you a serious question. How do you turn it off at night? How do you find time in your life for anything at all? Now, I know there are personality exceptions at play here, and I get that some of you are the rise and grind type. You love to work, and you love to work all the time. Fair warning, though. Your brain needs rest, or it's going to overload. You see, your key output is creativity, and a stressed brain is not creative. I mean, sure, your brain can run on adrenaline for a while, but it's not sustainable. Perhaps you want a more balanced life. You want to be able to turn it off when you get home. You want to stop thinking about work when you're in the shower or at your kid's baseball game. In short, you want to stop feeling owned. Now you have to understand this very, very important principle. We train people how to treat us. In other words, the feeling of being owned is often a self-inflicted wound. When we tell people, call me anytime, day or night, we feel the need to constantly monitor our phone and our email. And after a while, we train people that we are always available and that we have no boundaries. Again, it's not sustainable. The brain needs rest. You need rest, period. So how can you stop being on all the time? And I wanna share with you three techniques to help you in setting up your own boundaries. Here's technique number one, set non-negotiable appointments with yourself. Listen, you wouldn't have a problem blocking off a meeting for someone important, right? Well, are you important? Of course you are. So you need to set non-negotiable appointments with yourself. Here's a little secret for you. I block time on my calendar just to walk the dog. All right. Technique number two, only check your email at designated times during the day. No one really expects an instant response to their email unless you've trained them to expect it. So get into the habit of finding specific times during the day and then after you look at that email, shut it down. My email is closed right now as it needs to be. I'm working here. Technique number three, stop over-promising. Be honest with the people in your life. Don't make silly statements like, you can reach me 24 hours a day. They can't, and it's not good for you. I want you to use these tips the next time you notice that other people are taking control of your time and of your life. Are you guilty of being that reach me anytime type of person? Do you have to know at any given moment who called, who texted, who sent you an email or who even posted on, on social media. Uh, I just wonder if you would be so bold as to let me know in the comments below 
one thing that you want to start working on this week in regards to setting boundaries. It's a bit hard to make that first change, but trust me on this one. Your brain will thank you for it. Hey, thanks for watching today's 5-Minute Sales Training. I talk a lot about setting personal boundaries over at Sales 365. If you haven't joined us yet, now is the time. We are a healthy social network for salespeople dedicated to turning top 10% performers into top 1% performers, and we want you to come along. Until next time, learn more, turn more.